It is time to look at my viewers' aquariums. Did you guys know that you submitted aquariums to me? Like a week and a half ago, I asked you guys to submit to me your aquarium. Show me the best that you've got. And uh, you guys went a little bit hard. A little bit harder than I would have preferred, actually, because in the past, I've had 30 or so responses. In fact, last time I did this video, I had 30 responses. I had 30 people submit aquariums. Uh, and I split that up into two videos because I had so many submissions. You guys wanna know how many submissions I got this time? Cool, cool. So I'll just, I'll just, I'll just fucking, I'll just die then. This is gonna be like a 10 part series. <laughs> I got exactly a hundred submissions. In fact, maybe I don't even know. Maybe the, the the form capped it somehow and it stopped at a hundred and there were more people. No one complained, but like I, I got a lot, a lot of submissions. So we're gonna go through them all. We're gonna go through every one. They have been filtered for uh, you know people not putting bad stuff in as always, but um, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go through and look at all of my viewers' aquariums, and this will probably be a multi-part series with a lot of videos because I don't know how else I can get through 100 tanks. I want to do everyone justice. We're gonna give everybody a score out of 10. I'm gonna run out of scores out of 10. In fact, if if I only use like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, I will run out with 100 responses. They'll have to be a zero, a 0 0.1, a 0. Point. So I'm not even gonna think about it. We'll just go very general, one to 10, or zero to 10, whatever. Let the games begin. Our first tank is from Polyterra in Discord. 38 gallon South American-ish tank. I love that. I love when people go for a theme and then they just decide halfway through. They're like, well, you know, it's South American-ish. Like it, it was a South American tank, but then I saw an African fish that I really wanted. So I just threw them in there, you know? It is a very pretty tank. Um, I, I guess the idea is like leaf litter. It's supposed to be very natural. Are those acorns? Okay, I'm questioning how South American a tank is if you're using acorn caps as the substrate. And I'm assuming these are not South American tree leaves. But overall it looks good. Are there fish in there? Or is this just a ambiance tank? Am I bad at spotting fish? I don't know, I don't see one. Do you guys see one? I don't know, it's a nice tank. I like the idea of like leaf litter tanks, very naturally for bottom feeders and that kind of thing. You don't get to see much, that's the unfortunate part. You don't get to see much of the tank, but it is a cool tank. We'll start that out, that's a solid five. Those aren't acorn caps, they're fish hats. Oh, okay, thank you guys. I appreciate the, appreciate the input on that one. May Mirage, pretty old, they said. Older than me, maybe 20 years old. That's old, huh? That's older than you? Ugh, oh, my viewers are children. Okay, this is not a great angle that you've taken of the, what? What? What is this tank? What is it? It's just pebbles on the bottom and there's an empty shell? And then a rock? It's kind of overloaded with snails and the water is orange and you took the worst possible photos that you could take. I'm very confused as to what the goal was here, but um, again, are there fish? Oh, are these fish? Oh my god, there's live bears at the top. It looks like it's full of battery acid. All the fish are at the top. Well, to be fair, they do look like air breathers, but still. I don't know, this tank's kind of ugly. There's, It's just so barren, and why is it not clear? If it's barren, why, how did the water get like dirty? <laughs> There's nothing in it to make the water dirty. How did the water get dirty? How did you manage to do that? I don't know. I'm gonna. I, that's a three. I'm giving that a three. We need to set set our standards for the day. All right. Accidental ichthyologist. I love tannins. Tannins are the yellowish color in the water, which maybe is what caused that that last tank to be yellow. But there was no driftwood in sight. So what the heck? There's no tannin in this water. Hey, look, cute betta fish. Cool. I don't always, um, I'm not always a fan of these pots. People do this a lot because they're really good like structure and habitat to put in tanks. I prefer generally a very natural looking tank. So those pots tend to not be particularly appealing to me, but I'm also not opposed to them. I mean, I understand their purpose and I don't think they look bad. They've got like a nice pastel-ish color. This is a very well done, this is a well put together tank. This is a salt rock. That's really interesting if that's a salt rock. I wonder if that's like 
what's supposed to slowly chip away to help fight diseases and such that can't handle any salinity. Cute betta fish, cool tank. That's an eight. I'm I'm happy to give that one an eight. The planted tank how houses a koi, umpka, and a banup. Umpka, ha, uh, um, koi. Is it not just a betta? I have no idea what these are. I have no idea what these acronyms are. It's gonna be a long day today, guys. This might be all we do today. <laughs> I plan to do more, but here we are. Half Moon Plaque Hat. I'm glad someone knows. All right, Mr. Maticus, Guppy Display. Let's look at a Guppy Display. Whoa, that's a pretty tank. <gasps> Video? <gasps> look at the loach. Oh my God, look at the loach. That is a cute loach. Oh my God, there's multiple loaches. Oh, and they're loving it. Ooh, I love the substrate and the contrast. This is so well organized and put together. Do you have to trim this often? Oh, it looks so pretty. Wow. That's a really nice tank. God damn. This picture doesn't do it justice. The duckweed, the lighting on this is terrible. You should have not submitted this picture. You should submit that submit this picture, but like with a bet like, you know, better cut. My god, that is a nice tank. I want to give it a nine right off the bat. Do I give it a nine right off the bat? Is that sacrilegious on the fourth tank to give it a nine? I think we give it a tentative nine. I'm I might bump this up to like a nine point five, depending on what the rest of the competition looks like. Like I'm looking for criticisms and I don't really have any. It's extremely aesthetically pleasing. It looks clean. It's well stocked with cute fish. I don't love guppies, but ah well. I think we put a weird, this is a nine for now. This is just our leader. It is just the highest score and we'll see if something dethrones it. Very nice. Riley's Reef, my 90 gallon reef tank. Okay, well you named yourself after the tank so it should be nice, oh my God. That is quite the tank. That See, reefs are always um, interesting to me. Reefs always seem so messy to me. <gasps> Look at the tiny corals. Bro, he has a shelf of tiny corals. That's adorable. This is like the tiny plant garden in Plants vs. Zombies where you water them and they give you coins. That's adorable. Oh, there's fish. Damselfish of some sort? Not sure. I don't know ocean fish too well. I'm hoping to learn though. That's pretty cool. Love the substrate. Love all the corals. Is this a, a live giant clam? Holy. How did you manage that? That's pretty sick. This is a damn good tank, but I'm so biased against saltwater that it's pulling me away. Like as far as saltwater, as far as saltwater tanks go, this is probably the best I've seen. It's still a little messy, but that's just kind of how reefs are. They just are messy. Also, oh my God, I love this fish. That's just kind of how these type of tanks end up being. So I don't know. I think, do I be unbiased? I still think unbiased, I still think I like the freshwater tank better. But that's just because I'm a person who doesn't like clutter and this has cluttery vibes to it. But that's also natural. So that's not necessarily a criticism so much as it is a preference. I don't know, I'm giving it an 8.9. It is just one tiny step below the beautiful tank that I just looked at, but it's really good. All right, Stuart. Okay, simple tank. We're getting back to the simple folk. Fake plant, fake plant, fake plant, fake plant, fake plant, fake plant. Rock thing bought for $10 at the aquarium store. Fake plant and one molly <laughs> and half a clam. Is that it? Yeah, this is more what I was expecting. This is what the last time I did this was, the viewer's aquariums, the last two times. I feel like I mostly got this type of thing. Like, people with modest tanks. It's like, it's fine. It's, it's, a, it's a decent tank. I am not opposed to this tank. I am not in favor of this tank. I am not wowed, but it's fine. You're, you have a fish and you're taking care of them and it looks not awful. So I'll take it. I give that a six. I think that's, that's a decent tank. Hot Pocket, Hot Pocket the Smutmeister. What an insane username that you have chosen to represent yourself with online. Um, that is a beautiful koi fish. That is a lot of vegetation. I really like that hanging vegetation. Well, do I really like it? 
Those root systems are intense. They seem really good for the fish to, to chill about in, as long as it has area to reach the surface. But, fish. I just made a pun without even meaning to. What are you doing over there? Search results? What are you searching? Is that USGS? And, and authorized? Oh, does it say something university? <laughs> Little piranha plant coin sticker. I'm looking more at other stuff than the tank. It is a cute tank. I like the tank. Um, I like this vegetation, I've decided. I think it's good for the fish. So I'm gonna give this a seven. It's nothing amazing, but it's pretty good. It's a pretty solid tank. <laughs> I've actioned, okay, I didn't dox anyone. They sent me the photo. Two angelfish and they just kind of vibe. Why is the glass so dirty? What are these decorations? Fake plants. Is that algae? Pretty sure that's just algae on that back tank there. Is it a bow front and you're taking a picture through the back or is the perspective just confusing? This is just... I, um... Um... Okay, I'm going with a four. I think we can all agree that's an easy four. It's not as bad as the other one we saw, but I, I just... It's fine. BP444. Pretend they are fish. Um, this is not a fish. That's a snake. Zero out of ten. OG Mason. Um, cool. This looks like a tank at my local aquarium store. It's like a nicely planted, you know, sandy substrate with the neon tetras and the assemblage is a bit confusing, but I think it's cute. It might be a little bit overstocked in terms of fish. It's cute though. I'm a fan. I give it a... I give it a seven, it's solid. I think seven is like, the, it's solid, it's good. I think that's the, the line that we're going with. Summer fishy, cute. Just a nicely planted betta tank. A betta tank done well. Real driftwood, well, I guess you don't really have fake, well, I mean, they could make plastic driftwood, but people don't usually do that. Real driftwood, real plants, nice substrate, places for the fish to hide and chill. That's a happy betta fish. Lots of room to work with. That is a, that's a happy betta fish. I'm a fan, I'm giving that an eight. Gurry bunny. Okay, it's an axolotl, not a fish. What are these photos? Oh my God, clean your glass or take better photos. But no, suddenly the photos are good. Okay, this tank you should not have shown me. Do not include these three photos. Just show me this. This is a pretty tank. What is that? I want it. That's a pretty tank. It's fine. It could use a cleaning. Is that a wire? Did you put a wire mesh in your tank as habitat? I guess fair enough. This is an odd tank. I'm getting weird vibes from this tank. I'm giving this a six. Weird vibes. Weird vibes. But it's it's fine. It's a good tank. Ooh, now we've got a pretty tank. Look at this guy. That is a very beautiful tank. I am impressed how bad those photos were. They were quite bad. This is a pretty one. I always love black substrate. I feel like... I feel like a friend once upon a time told me that black substrate makes the fish colors pop more. They were talking about native fish, so I don't know how much that applies, but... I put beer six-packs rings and old car batteries in my tank to make a modern fish's natural habitat. Wow, and what a hero you are for that. Thank you, sir. Here we all salute your effort. Is this a poop mid-fall? Is this on its way down? Caught it on camera. This is a cool tank. I like this tank. This is an 8. Well, no, it's kind of overstocked. I changed my mind. There's too much shit in there. It's a 7. I'm sorry. It's a nice tank, though. There's just too much, too much going on. Okay. Hexagonal tank is cool. Bamboo? Real or fake? Does bamboo grow underwater? Cool tank. Nothing else seems to be... I mean, there's pipes and stuff, but... This is a pretty idea. This would go hard in a ja oh, whoa. Now hold on a minute. What the hell is this your bedroom? Got some old tools and stuff in a box, a pile of buckets, and then this. So I was just about to say if this is surrounded by like green themed like Japanese architecture type thing, this goes so hard. And then it's in like some old lady's room. Hey, I have these curtains. <laughs> I have this these exact curtains. You get these on Amazon? 
you probably didn't get these. You're probably a child, and this is your parents' house. But I have these curtains. <laughs> fish. Cool. Cute fish. Cool. That's a nice tank. I, if you hadn't shown me the room that it's in, I actually think this tank would be really nice. Like, from this photo, I give it an 8. But when I see the room that it's in, I give it a 7. I'm sorry, it just does not fit the vibe of your room. You need to theme your room a little bit better. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Goatman has submitted us the pinnacle of fish tanks, of course. The best that it gets. Uh, neon tetras on a rainbow gravel with fake plants, complete with cloudy water, and them taking the photo. <laughs> um, that's, that's an ugly tank. I personally don't like these fish. I'm sure you could keep them, but all the fake stuff in the tank, rainbow gravel, why is the water cloudy, artificially modified fish. I do, it's, it's a it's a three for me, dog. I'm sorry. I can't invest in this project. So many photos. Whoa. There's even, there's water in that? Am I crazy or does this tank look empty? It's the only the reflection that's, oh my god, tiny albino Bashir. That's adorable. Oh my god, tiny albino Bashir. Bamboo shrimp. Look, it's me. It's my name. They wrote avian J tank. Oh, I suppose that's not my name. This is very pretty. This is a cool tank. Is this a natural environment for Bashir? This is, it's like a pile of crap on the bottom of the ocean. Just not really structure, not really reef-like, just stuff. Conch shells. Pretty cool. I like it. I wonder if they get stuck in the conch shells at all. Is that why they're pointed downwards? <laughs> to avoid the Bashirs noodling their way into the back of the conch shells and not being able to back up? It's interesting, I don't think I've seen this idea before. It feels so barren because none of the vertical space is filled, but I also kind of like it, especially for things like this that tend to chill at the bottom. I'm a fan. I don't know how your bamboo shrimp is eating though. Where is the flow? Where is there enough flow for your bamboo shrimp to filter feed? Seems like they would not last very long. But yeah, they have ample places to hide, so can't complain about that. I'll give that a seven. Snuggy. For a second I thought this was an animal screaming. It's just a pot. I'm all for my betta and a few snails. My plant is dying. That is something I definitely need to work on. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say there's not enough light. Just based on what I see here, the natural lighting seems to be brighter than the lighting. I would say probably need more light, but hey, I don't know. Yeah, it's a decent tank. I don't know, I don't like this pot. Or this driftwood. This is what I meant by fake driftwood. When I said fake driftwood earlier, this is the this is what I meant by fake driftwood. Not real driftwood. But it's cute. It's cute. It's a nice little bed of home. I would appreciate more hiding places, especially ones that weren't like um aquarium store bought decorations. Like, I don't know, go find a rock. <laughs> Literally go outside and find a rock and wash it and then put it in there. And also get better lighting for the tank. That would be, uh, be a pretty nice tank. That betta is a little lonely up there because they have to stay near the surface and there's just nothing. Looks like, I don't know if this is dead plant bits or you're trying to set up duckweed up there, but eh, it's fine. That's a, it's, a, it's a six. That tank is a six. Polynom functioning. Whoa! Jesus! Holy! Homie is growing a garden in a fish tank. What the hell? My god. I I can't even <laughs> All right. Well. That's beautiful. That's a 10. Oh god, is this better than the other? I don't remember even which tanks I gave a 9. I'm trying to remember. Oh, it was that very well. See, that one was very well centered, so it was a totally different thing. Right? Like this this is more along the lines of like fill the space vertically and horizontally, whereas what I had earlier was more along the lines of like a center, central piece with open space around it. I kind of like this better. I think this might be our new leader. I think this is the 9.1 that we've been looking for. I think I'm gonna put this tank in for, I mean, I love it. I don't, are there even any fish in it? A group of Caradinia shrimp. You really need to put 
some sort of fish that will explore this tank in here. I mean, I'm sure you don't want to because you don't want any of your plants ruined or anything like that. Based on how much care you've clearly put into this, you probably care more about the plants than um, you know, having like an animal in there, but my god, a fish exploring this would have a wonderful time. No, not a carp. Not any sort of like loach or carp or something like that, because they'll destroy the lovely habitat that you've made, but something indifferent to the habitat that will still weave in and out of it would be really cool to look at. I'm a big fan of that one. I think you're in first right now. Meet Romeo, the axolotl. He has lots of hiding places as he loves to hide and squeeze his body into tight spaces. He often gets stuck, but his pride is too important to him to ask for help. No, he just sits there for hours until he is finally motivated enough to become unstuck. No live plants or gravel as he will eat them. His favorite pastime is swimming fast enough to knock the thermometer off the tank wall, making it harder for his human caretaker, me, to find it. Water bottles are often floating on top as we live in a warmer than normal area and keeping his water at 60 degrees Fahrenheit is difficult in the summer. Water bottles are keeping it. What is so this is like a water bottle full of ice or something that keep the water cooler. Interesting. That is that looks like a playpen for a cat. <laughs> this looks like a playpen for a cat. This looks like a cat's sleeping area. This looks like a ball for a cat to play with. This looks like a perch for a cat. This looks like a cat area, but um, I don't know, maybe he likes it. Axolotls are cute and they are not the most intelligent. I don't know a ton about taking care of them. Technically, I should just disqualify you for having an axolotl at all and not submitting me a fish. So that's what I'm gonna do. Zero, oh, I'm sorry, not a zero. Disqualified out of 10. All right, David Cow. Video attached. We love that. I'm sorry, does that say 30 gallon freshwater cat boy tank? Is that an autocorrect or are you calling yourself a cat boy? Nope, does not seem to be an autocorrect. Look at that! Look at them! Is that the, the tiny bumblebee thing? Oh, that is adorable. That is a cute tank. I am worried um, considering it's hanging off about six inches on either side. <laughs> the chat message Saturnian cat boy types in chat uh well <laughs> all right noted noted so it is the the cat boy in your submission refers to yourself and not to something to do with the thing this is a pretty tank i love the black substrate and i love that the substrate isn't even i think in a tank this big it would look really boring if the substrate was even Pretty, not overstocked. I think there's a decent amount of fish. They could use a bit more places to chill and hide, but I understand you like looking at them. I like the plants, I like the structure. This piece of driftwood is particularly cool. It's really clean. I love the way that they utilize the substrate. I'm a fan. This is an eight, I'm giving this an eight. And that is it for the first round. All right, everybody take a break. I'm a cat girl, so uh, colon three. Oh my god, colon three. Can you even, can anyone even make that face? Are cat girls just pretending? Are they just putting colon three and they're lying to all of us because they can't make that face? How do you make that face? I, like, it has to go up here, then here, then down. Up. This doesn't work. This doesn't work. Stop typing colon three in my chat. Stop it! <laughs> You're evil. You're all evil. Whoa.